Hey, Brandon, how you doing? Hey, good. How are you, Alon? Good, good. Uh, we were just speaking uh, briefly uh, a second ago uh, regarding uh, you being with us uh, at such short notice. I know you're so busy. A lot of big news has come out and is coming out. Uh, for people that don't know, uh, welcome back to the Big Fam, where we basically cover everything to do with Big Digital Assets, the company, uh, and its subsidies. And uh, we just, as you know, and I'm sure you've seen before, what we focus on is bringing uh, direct information to the shareholders. There's a, a big and loyal shareholder group, um, and uh, that's what we do here. So, uh, Brandon, which uh, is from Terra Zero, you are the co-chief operating officer and uh, chief experience officer. Uh, so thanks again for joining us. Yeah, of course. Um, pleasure to be here with you. And um, yeah, like I was saying before, um, always heard great things about these, happy to be a part of it and ready to just jump into it. Excellent, excellent. So uh, as uh, everyone is well aware by now, if you've been watching the videos, Terra Zero has merged under the uh, big digital assets uh, brand. Um, so how, is, uh, how have you guys been uh, antiquating in together and how's it been uh, post acquisition with you guys? Um, I mean, it's been great. Uh, you know, this was um, this was something that aligns a lot of really powerful things together. Uh, when Terra Zero was very young, and we worked with all these uh, big enterprise brands, the Fidelity Internationals, Miller Lite, Molson Coors, um, Bacardi Angels Envy, um, PwC, you know, all of these groups were interested in not just doing metaverse or virtual experiences and, and introverse now, um, but they were interested in having pilots that included blockchain technology. Um, but it's always been very hard for uh, those companies and their legal teams to get over the hill on that. But what we were able to do is because they could execute a contract with us and because they could operate with us, um, we were able to help run some of those pilots. So uh, we just want to be another way that the entire big fam can have access to opportunities and we can find synergies that work and opportunities that are for enterprise and beyond. Um, and in working with, um, you know, just communicating more with people like Frazier and Lance, as you all know, um, and Dan and all of us working together, um, you know, where we can build things together now that lean on each other's strengths, that's even more powerful. And I think that's a lot of the roadmap of what we'll see in the future with Terra Zero and everyone else. Amazing, amazing. Uh, so I hear there's, uh, as you just mentioned, there's cohesion obviously between you um, and Lance and Fraser and all of the uh, different subsidies of the of the big digital assets uh, mm -hmm. label. Um, so can we go into some details on how um, Terra Zero? Uh, can relate to big and net coins in the metaverse going, you know, in the future? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think the one of the key things for Terra Zero right now is scalability. We've spent a lot of time building our product, the introverse, to be something that's really special and unique and different. And it's it's built to service all the needs that we heard from our original uh, clients that we worked with and all of the artists that we talk to, all of the content creators that we talk to, all of these industries that we talk to all the time. We're not just building in a silo. Lots of companies do that. We've seen this across the industry and, and all industries. And especially in tech, you see people just build something over here and then it doesn't have a lot of applications. Um, so what we've done is we've looked to build something that's very scalable that can serve all of these markets um, and then provide opportunities for blockchain digital assets and 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 the like you know there are there are partnerships and groups that we're aligning with now and companies that we're starting to work with and do things now where um, they want digital assets to be part of how they engage with their audience um, and at the same time these same companies want um, ways to do that for an e-commerce play or a data play um, or a community building play, 
using introverse technology and what they can do in the metaverse. And so in bringing digital assets into the fold in that way, um, we can provide a lot of opportunity and we can look to bring uh, groups like Netcoins and Blockchain Intelligence Group into the fold um, for those kind of projects and activations. So uh, that's what we see more and more of going forward, especially with the new partnerships that we're um, you know, launching now. Amazing. Uh, so you mentioned there's a lot of partnerships and a lot of exciting things happening right now at Terra Zero. We just saw the drop yesterday of Napster. Uh, but yeah. can we can you go into a little bit of that uh, relationship now with Napster and how they will be implemented and what they're looking for? And and more importantly, um, what, what are some other partnerships and excitement that's coming up right now for shareholders to get excited about? Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, so we'll we'll start with Napster. So you know that's something that um, you know we've we've uh, had a dialogue going with the CEO um, John V, as he goes by, uh, the the CEO of Napster for quite some time, and we've we've tried to find the right way to bring this together. And um, this release now and the announcement of this partnership is very much that step in the right direction. And, and if you look up, you know, when when John became CEO of Napster, a, a big part He said he of, wanted to get into the, the more of the metaverse, the blockchain yeah. uh, stuff. That was one of his goals. I, I read yeah. that the other day. Yeah, 100%. So, you know, um, you, you guys have, have heard from Dan, you know, that's very much in line with our vision for how we can create real utility, you know, for... Uh, Web3 within these virtual spaces. Um, you know, if you if, if if you have a dollar in your pocket, the dollar has utility once you actually go to the store to buy something, right? So we have to use the technology we're building to create that utility for these kinds of uh, Web3 opportunities. And um, with with Napster, what's really important is that, you know, this is a company that is um, investing in us in that they're investing their time and energy and they're, they want to build something really special with us. And as a DSP, a digital streaming platform, Terra Zero can now give them a big competitive advantage. We can have these environments where artists through Napster, powered by Terra Zero, um, as you've seen, you know, with the uh, Rick Wilson experience that's up now and many to follow, what we'll be getting into is monetization, e-commerce, all kinds of data plays, uh, ways that fans and artists can engage together um, and celebrate music, do unique things with music and an artist's creative expression, do things that have not been done before and on top of that, have not been so accessible. So the fact that we're able to do this with Napster, a, a company with you know a major brand name that's been around- Brand for, recognition, of course, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Back, yeah. back in my ICQ days. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you could you could say that, uh, you know, Terra Zero listened to um, our, our clients and, you know, we built our tech stack around what we knew that the needs were. And you, you can say that, you know, Napster has been listening to music fans for a very long time in how they've adapted and grown their business over the years. And so for them to bring all the equity that they have to the table, their brand recognition, um, a, a, a lot of these guys, you know, came from Roblox. Um, they know the lay of the land and they're trusting us as a young company and now through big digital assets to give them that competitive advantage to grow their market share and you know this is this is a platform with millions of users and and subscribers so um you know from it's a good foot in the door ab absolutely and you know from what dan has been saying in uh, I, I i know you guys have all heard from dan you know we're creating introverse to serve enterprise clients just as much as the artists and content creators and People are also going to, uh, you know, have their own spaces. Every user of introverse technology in the future will have their own apartment. That's another vertical we're going to be rolling out with introverse. You can see where we're going. 
with how uh, artists and fans can be interacting together across all of these spaces. And through that engagement, um, you know, we're going to be able to build and scale a really powerful platform. And, um, you know, that's the vision going forward and what we're really excited about. Yeah, that's amazing. And and honestly, you should uh, also have weight the fact that Big Digital Assets is a publicly traded company. You know, they they know that you guys are affiliated to a company that gets audited and, and, and yeah. looked over and financials are shown and um and is ethical from more than more than anything um and has a lot of different revenue streams that are in the blockchain and digital asset markets so i think it, it goes hand in hand and i think honestly for me i think uh as an 80s baby i think napster was the first you know kind of streaming slash uh, music downloading software that i had uh and uh i think bringing in my generation of people who really know the Napster brand. And, you know, as soon as I found out Napster and I'm like, is that the Napster? Like I thought it was. And I think you're going to have a lot of people like that who, who, uh, you know, are going to, you know, a little bit older who are going to like, okay, I trust this brand. I know this brand. Yeah. I mean, they've, they've, uh, they've always been an innovator and yes. I think they've, they've adapted and grown over time. Um, and Terra Zero is looking to be an, an innovator and, Big digital is an assets. innovator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank, thank you. But uh, you know, big digital assets is is an innovator, right? So we just we just will continue to find more partnerships and grow and shore up more partnerships and groups that we work with that share that vision and is you know that groups that are willing to create new value and new opportunity. Um, that's that's absolutely what we see happening more and more this year as we take the scalable product introverse to market amazing so i mentioned uh there's partnerships that you had uh recently as well and there's you know different things that you're working on in the future um what uh what can we expect in terms of the type of partnerships you're looking for you got your music media partnership now um you've got your your exchange partnership with no net coins you're going to have your uh, block search partnership to validate funds and, and make sure uh, everything is done uh, concretely and legitimately. Um, what other avenues are you looking to bring into the Interverse uh, in terms of partnerships? Uh, we just we we want to have fun and help audiences help all groups that we work with find audiences where they are. Um, you know, we're we've built introverse to be accessible via via mobile tablet desktop um and it's built so that collaborations and things from different groups can happen in new ways that really haven't happened before in real life or they wouldn't happen in real life and let me let me give you some examples so we we recently put out some news around um what we're doing uh, and and what we're partnering on with a group called Padia Gaming and so there, that's what there, I was referring to. Yeah. 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 That's super exciting. That's right? huge. Yeah. yeah. You know, obviously, you know, gaming is a huge space for this. Um, all the numbers do not lie. Uh, we understand that these audiences are hungry for more and extremely digitally savvy and not afraid of, um, you know, second screening on the couch and being on their phone and jumping into different experiences. And so um, with, you know, Padia Gaming, what we can do is have virtual experiences that can just be spun up and we can have different content creators come to these events and we can have artists come in at the same time and there can be brand sponsorships and we can have everybody celebrating um, different things together like mental health or um, financial well-being or things that are related to what these creators and artists do that are very important to them that they may not be able to do on a daily basis when they're putting out music or performing at concerts. But what these, uh, what these activations and what the introverse technology will allow us to do is give them an opportunity to do that and form even more monetization and data and community building opportunities 24 hours a day um you know if if a concert's on friday night what an artist has to be asking themselves these days is what is their audience doing saturday through thursday and it's about creating these virtual engagements where because of the introverse 
suddenly an artist can be with anyone anywhere in the world in real time. And so that those are the kinds of things that we're looking to, um, you know, break ground with and do incredible things with through these partnerships. Um, but we can even take that one step further, right? So what's something that is very unique about uh, Introverse is um, how it is an evolution of how people have been consuming content on the internet and now they'll be experiencing content on the internet, as Dan always says. Um, if, you know, if, if YouTube is video on demand and a platform like Twitch is, you know, live video on demand, then um, we feel that Introverse is accessibility and community and real-time engagement on demand. Uh, so think about that in the context of, you know, talking about the major brand builds that we do our introverse pro product that's very, you know, content creator, music artist fo focused, um, and then the introverse live apartments, which is you hanging out with your friends, listening to music, playing games and, and things like that. I, I, I want you to, you know, think about this and this is how we look at things. So if there's a content creator on YouTube that does unboxing videos, that's very straightforward. But think about how much more they can do and how much more fun an audience can have and how much more monetization and, and other e-commerce opportunities and other revenue opportunities there would be for, you know, Terra Zero and big digital assets, let alone the creator themselves, if the video that the content creator is going to drop will come out on Sunday. So every day of the week, then, we can have something show up in your apartment. Let's say you subscribe to this content creator's campaign for their unboxing videos. And every day of the week, a new part of that unboxing, um, we, can, we can make the actual asset and put it in someone's apartment. And then you can subscribe to that campaign. And every day of the week, another layer of that unboxing comes to your apartment and it, and it pulls people in and it gives more engagement to this creator. And that's all in your apartment. Then on Sunday, you can go to that content creator's Introverse Pro and you can be there when the video goes live. And if you've collected and if you've come in every day of the week and you've gotten every layer of that unboxing, you can get something unique or you can get a purchase opportunity for something special. And that can be something that you use a credit card to pay for um, or that's an opportunity for us to bring in something that's digital asset related, right? So now we're, now we're creating all these opportunities for everybody we work with to benefit more. And then if that content creator is sponsored by a major brand that we work with, they can go right on from that Introverse Pro experience to the brand's enterprise experience and then back to their apartment. And so that ecosystem is breaking ground, like I was saying, and bringing all of these audiences together um, in ways that are unique and different and haven't really been done in that way before. And that's where we just see tons of potential for this going forward. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, question, I wanted to backtrack for some of our shareholders that aren't aware of the difference between the metaverse and the introverse. Uh, because before we were only hearing about met you know, metaverse, 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 metaverse is a billion dollar industry. And now you've created something called the introverse. Uh, mm. Can you explain, first of all, the definition of each? And, yeah. you know, uh, just so people who aren't familiar, who are just starting to learn about this, uh, can differentiate the two. Sure, sure. sure. So um, I think I think when people think about the metaverse, and over the last couple of years, as this has really grown in in the, in the public space, the metaverse is tons of different technologies coming together and and interconnecting. And it's so far, it's been very heavily hinged on blockchain, Web3, uh, crypto, and that's great. What and, and the metaverse also then at the same time is looked at as, some people define it as any kind of game environment where people are moving from one platform to another. People see, you know, Roblox and Fortnite as metaverse worlds in many cases. Um, just as much as they look at a Decentraland or a sandbox as a metaverse world. And 
then there are the people who zoom out even further and say that all of those metaverse worlds that you can move between, that is the metaverse, right? So what is the difference between that and the introverse and how we've built what we've built? We want to, I'm, I'm going to keep going back to words like creating value and opportunity and, and new ideas and, and things like that. Uh, we talked to tons of companies and we just listened to them and we heard how they could safely operate within these environments. And we built a tech stack around that. That does a few things. One, it allows the companies and, and e-commerce and other things to happen so that um, people can get in there. And then we also have built it so that um, every consumer can easily get in and help uh, uh, grow the user base of the introverse and have fewer barriers to entry. You know, you you have to remember that um, while while blockchain provides a lot of power in these spaces, very few people actually have a MetaMask or a crypto wallet, right? Mm -hmm. um, we see the vision for that in the near term, the medium term, and the long term, and we want to create the bridge that gets there. And we see the introverse as that bridge. So we are not afraid of, and, and we are all for creating choice and opportunity where with the introverse, users can very easily connect their credit card and pay for something with their Visa card, just like they would anything else, just like Shop Pay or Apple Pay. And what that's doing is that's using the on-ramps for people to um, you know, bring their spending power into an environment where we can then connect all of these typical metaverse opportunities, all of these blockchain and digital asset related opportunities. Um, that is the difference um, between the metaverse and how the introverse is creating all of these bridges and all of these tools for people to now actually get into these spaces and um, em empower themselves. You know, the um, the other part about the introverse that we see as a differentiator from what people typically see as the metaverse is scalability. We've built Introverse Pro to be for content creators and artists and, um, you know, mom and pop companies, SMBs, or, and we've built it to be modular um, and customizable for a reason. Um, not everybody is a developer. Not everyone is going to build their own metaverse world, but everybody plays The Sims. Everybody plays Animal Crossing. Everybody builds maps for, uh, you know, Fortnite or um, CS or what 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 have you. There's there's generations and generations of these people that are teething for something like this and that's where we see an opportunity to create introverse from metaverse and give that to people so that they can succeed with it. Amazing. So how does uh, Terra monetize this? I know that there's uh, the pro and I'm sure there's other type. You're going to come out with different, diff different modules, of course, but uh, we know how Netcoins would mod would monetize in this and that's through transactions, right? Transactional fees. How does tech, Terra Zero tech monetize in this? Um, yeah, so there's there's a number of different ways that uh, Terra Zero has built Introverse to generate revenue. Um, let's let's talk about this at at a high level, and then I'll also talk about you know our partnerships at a high level, and then ways that within you know Introverse Pro and 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 all kinds of other ways that Terra Zero will generate revenue doing this. Uh, so Introverse Pro, um, and, and, and I think people like Dan have touched on these things before. You know, you, you wanna think of Introverse Pro like Wix, but for 3D environments and 3D environment builders. So we will have a subscription model that has different tiers um, for Introverse Pro, which means that there will be, you know, monthly recurring rev for people who are signing up for the use of Introverse Pro as a product, as a way that they expand their e-commerce potential, their data potential, their 
audience engagement potential. And then those things then generate revenue. So people will be able to sell physical and digital assets within these uh, environments. And, um, you know, high level, we will have ways of further monetizing and creating revenue out of those e-commerce opportunities. Um, we've built uh, and continue to build really competing, compelling uh, products around data and, um, and um, you know, in aggregate audience metrics and things like that. We Which believe you can as sell company, as well. Sorry? Which you can then monetize as well. You could sell that information. Well, yeah, and and but what's really important is, um, you know, we we want to protect and we want to value the identity of the user. So just to touch on data briefly, like what what we're able to do with the introverse um, provides really outstanding use cases and um, delivers on metrics around experiential marketing. Um, in in ways that we just haven't seen on other platforms and in other you know generations throughout history in marketing. So you know we can say like everyone who comes into your introverse pro environment, anyone who comes to an enterprise environment, uh, you can see how your audience all together is interacting with your content, your products, your your services, and that means that you're not just looking at like, how do I target a specific person? How do I get that back pain ad on Instagram 60 more times before yeah. they find click on a click on a link, right? It's it's more about understanding how people are engaging so that you can improve how you're delivering your products and, and services. And that's that's really valuable. And that is something we can monetize and something that will provide incredible value for users. Um and then uh uh, other ways, you know, Terra Zero will continue to build a robust um, enterprise-led services business, which then enters the same space I was just talking about. There's a data monetization play. There's um, revenue to be generated on uh, e-commerce opportunities for digital and physical goods. So the more and more that we grow this uh, um, suite of products out and take it to market, the more subscriptions we get, uh, the more you can see uh, the revenue potential going up and up and up across all of these individual pieces. And, um, you know, that's not even scratching the surface on what we could do within apartments or what users are going to want with their avatars or, um, you know, asset packs for their apartment rooms and things like that. We're not even scratching the surface on the kind of revenue that that can potentially generate. Um, and, you know, there's, there's more that I can say, but maybe that's a good stop. Yeah. 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 That's a lot of, uh, a lot of great uh, value information there on uh, how Terra can uh, monetize and, and uh, there's many of them. So uh, thank you for going into the detail that you did. Um so, you know, we just went through, I'm going to sidetrack a little bit onto the Bitcoin blockchain Web3 conversation. Uh, we just went through this lead up into Bitcoin ETF where, you know, we had this major run up. Now, you know, you know, in my opinion, it was, you know, uh, uh, by the rumor, sell the news, uh, Bitcoin's now dropping, uh, which is all good and dandy. Everybody understands that this is a very volatile market as it is. Uh, but what is Terra doing during these market conditions uh, that, you know, keeps you guys growing and, and kind of keeps you guys with the blinders on and not necessarily wondering slash does it matter what happens in the in the crypto universe? Yeah, so that that's an excellent thing to bring up um, because market conditions will always affect a variety of things. And it's it's not exactly always about the market conditions themselves. They play a big role in what any smart business is going to think about and look and do. But it's it's on us to build a business that will be resilient and will be developing and growing in ways that will have viability and value and um, continue to generate value regardless of um, market conditions. So 
as Terra Zero, all of those things I was just talking about in the way that we're taking our part, our products to market, the partnerships that we're creating, um, the ways that we're enticing users and and growing, you know, revenue in every which way that we can. Those are things that are not dependent on the current value and perceived value of one asset, right? We we need to continue to build that plot armor um, around what we're doing as a company so that um, investors at large, um, firms and, and otherwise down to the individual person, people need to look at what Terra Zero is doing and what big digital assets is doing and investing in, in terms of time and, and uh, resources and everything across the board. And people need to be able to say, I get why that works. So the sun comes out, the sun goes down, the market opens, it's up or down. And all we care about is doing things that create that opportunity and make sure that people look at companies like big digital assets and what Terra Zero is doing and saying, I believe in this, I get it. This is why I invest in this. Well, the rest is up to Dan, of course. <laughs> uh, so you know we're we're in you know uh, January now, New Year. What are some of the things that we could be looking forward to? Could be seeing in the future. Um, what you know when you think New Year two thousand twenty four, what immediately comes to your mind on what what are we looking forward to here, Brandon? What 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 direction are we moving in now? Um, I think you know we've um, we've had a steady news stream from uh, you know every group within big digital assets um, talking about these new partnerships that we have uh, quarterly re results new new products new opportunities um, you know big digital assets I think will remain an entity that will uh, be innovative um, on on all fronts and Terra zero, we will be continuing to take our products to market, engaging with new groups, um, and uh, having all of our activations start to unfold so that you can see what we're doing grow across the market. And uh, like like I said, you know we have partnerships um, all all over the world in in different markets, and we'll continue to um, embolden and grow our uh, services business. You know, something we haven't even talked about is our uh, relationship with Seed Group um, in the UAE. That's that's a whole nother piece of uh, Terra Zero and big digital assets business that um, generates a lot of attention. And how, do, um, how does that how how is, how is that partnership um, huge? Um, well, it's it's huge because. Um, the the opportunity is so great. Um, we we looked at the UAE and um, that entire region, and have looked at that region for a long time as one that is not afraid of innovation and change and adoption of all of these technologies that are under the big digital assets umbrella. So, you know, we we are looking to grow our enterprise pipeline over there. Um, there's there's a lot of video content out there um, about this relationship that you can find. And um, everything we do there is going to continue to uh, give all of those same opportunities and um, and the kinds of things we were talking about in the beginning of this conversation, uh, but with different groups in the UAE. Um, and so that's just a further testament to the fact that um, Big digital assets is looking to continue to seek relationships and build partnerships that are global and um, taking advantage of opportunity in all markets. So, you know, we'll be hearing more about that relationship in 2024 as well. Amazing. Uh, what I wanted to ask you, are there any demo products? Uh, a lot of our members in the Discord are interested in, in, in trying this uh, introverse. Is there uh, a demo that's out um, that we can maybe shed some more light on or something that's coming out? Because this is a, 
brand new sector and industry. And uh, a lot of people before they, you know, dunk their bodies and they like to put a toe. Uh, do you, are there any demo capabilities that people can go in? And I'm not saying just to, uh, you know, watch a show, for example, like we used to in the metaverse. Uh, that's, you know, I would say old tech by now um as tech moves real quick uh but uh do you does does terra zero themselves have a demo that an everyday person can log in and, and kind of see what this is all about well the the first thing i would say is you know you can go to um you can go to introverse.com backslash discoverse and you can jump in what we dropped with napster yesterday right now if you want to go give it a try um and then as we roll out this product, we will have um, an opportunity for people to, you can go to uh, pro.introverse.com and you can sign up to get into our pipeline um, where we will be working with people to you know, set up in environments for people who are interested in the Introverse Pro subscription. Um, so that'll be another opportunity. And then uh, we will... Uh, ramp up our launch of Introverse Pro, um, where the scalable product will be available. And at that time, that's when everybody can jump right in. Um, a, a, another thing that I think we should do, perhaps in between now and then, is maybe we could do another one of these where uh, we could go through the the product or something like that, and we can look at features and 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 all of that. But if people want to start. Um, getting introduced to it all. I think, uh, you know, jumping into the activations that are live now um, and everything you can find online about what we did with BB Rexa, mm -hmm. Teddy Swims and and the like uh, and pro.introverse.com uh, are, are all great places to start. Yeah, if it's okay with you, if we can get those links, we'll put them in the uh, details sure. of the video on YouTube. And uh, people can just click right on the link and uh, find themselves uh, right there. And it'll be a good way to get uh, our, not just our di big Discord uh, shareholders, but people who are just surfing YouTube, uh, who are coming across this uh, video with two handsome men um, and uh, want, want to click a link and, and, and see and see what's going on. So uh, we'll definitely do that if that's okay with you. And we'll put it in the top, in the description and people could just click on it and, and, uh, I'm sure you would love to hear feedback anytime as well. So, yeah. um, you know, uh, because the one thing I do, uh, and, and that's all for my questions, by the way. So this will be kind of my uh, closing uh, conclusion argument. The one thing that I uh, do notice and I, why I believe there was a great fit from the beginning between big uh, digital assets and Terra Zero is the transparency uh, that yourself and everybody at Terra Zero has, uh, and as well as the acceptance of listening. Um, the one thing that you always say is you you take your clients and you listen to what they say and you build off of that. And I feel like you do the exact same with your consumers. Uh, so, you know, that's ultimately why I believe that this was a, a, a great uh, connection between the two synergies between the companies. Uh, both have the same ethos uh, per se. And, um, and, and, uh, Honestly, to get people value, you have to listen to what they want. And, and I think you, you guys are just building it great. And um, I'm very excited for 2024 and the new partnerships and more partnerships and more activations and new demos and um, all of the above, maybe more artists and more deals, you know, more things with Napster. And and uh, I think I think it can only be a great thing from here. Yeah, well, thank you very much for that. And and your your confidence, I think, is reflected in our team as well. You know, we're we're looking to grow as a company. We're looking for great talent all the time. And just like you were saying, you know, in listening to consumers and clients and all that, we want to listen. We want to build something that people actually want. Um, it seems like not enough people do that. And None. we we want to be. We want to be positioned to succeed well all the time. Um, we, we were talking about market conditions. You know, we want to be positioned so that when digital assets are really, really powerful, we are really, really powerful. And for whatever reason, as as markets fluctuate, we need to have tentpole pieces of this business that are really strong. And that comes from this feedback loop. So that that's why it's always great 
to um, have these conversations with you and just make sure people get it uh, directly from us because um, that's an important thing. So, absolutely, um, yeah. And, yeah, absolutely, and I and I thank you for those kind words. And I would be down to have a conversation with updates every quarter, every you know second quarter. Because I feel like uh, it's very important for people to follow along the progress because uh, knowledge is power, right? And if you don't know, uh, you're pretty uh, powerless, I would say. So um, especially in a, in a brand new industry and sector, uh, we're really on the ground floor. You guys are the innovators of this. Um, and uh, thanks again for, for what you guys contribute to Big Digital Assets. Perfect. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for having me. Um, and let's do that feature walkthrough. Absolutely. Talk soon and have a great day.